You just asked me to return a dead person from another world. To ask him something and immediately kill him right after. Is that a normal thing to do? Maybe for me. I try to save every life and you just kill people without a second thought. <coughs> I tracked this man down. This scum is a member of a criminal gang. They're a bunch of drug dealers. What does dad have to do with it? Why would they kill my father? They wanted him to create a new narcotic drug for them, but their dad refused. <coughs> Take her Where's away. the laptop? I'll only tell Mikhailo. Only him. I think it's no secret that honest and decent men like me usually have hard lives. If you want to help other people, sometimes you have to do some very unpleasant things too. Oh, is that so? Does that mean shooting an innocent man? Do you want to live? <laughs> then you need to marry me. time to explain right now. Why do you need this? I don't. Do you have a choice? Yes or no? Yes. Now you need to follow me and do as I say. Do you understand what I'm telling you right now? Are you sure? Say it. Yes. But nobody here saw Nasya around. I've already asked everyone. The doctors, nurses, cleaners. When was the last time you talked to her? Before she left for work instead of me. It was around three o'clock. Did you try to call her phone? No. I tried last night. She didn't pick up. It seemed her phone, uh, was out of signal range. <sighs> Does this mean it's my fault? That she disappeared? <sighs> but I was feeling really sick that day. This is not your fault. I'll find her and, and figure out what happened here. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Where are we going? Do you realize that the police are searching for me? They are witnesses. There are many people who saw me leaving the clinic. You're relying on your brother? You shouldn't. If he tries to mess with me, I'll have to kill both of you. Understand? But if you behave yourself, I promise to give you some personal space, and I won't be too hard on you. Then let me use my phone. I need to make a call. My friends must be worried about me. Yuri, why are you wasting your time on this thing? Your sister is now a grown woman. Now she simply forgot to inform anybody where she went. She's not a little girl. I don't believe that. She wasn't at the restaurant. She won't answer her phone and no one's seen her at work. I agree with Yuri on this. The circumstances of her disappearance give me more reason to believe she was kidnapped. 
She works for Volodenko and disappears the moment we start finding evidence against him. I want to see the video. The video coverage from the clinic CCTV. Vyacheslav Yorovich, sign here, please. So far, this is the only lead in our case. All right, then. Go and watch your movies. But if you find something new, you'll be sure to let me know, personally. Yes, sir. May we go now? Yes, you may. Dismissed. I'm listening. I just had a talk with Strelesky about his sister. His investigation leads him to believe that Molodenko has indeed something to do with her disappearance. But please be careful. The Major went to the clinic to check out the CCTV footage on the cameras. I do hope your boys were careful with that. Yes, they were. Thanks for telling me. I'll keep you in touch. Strelecki? Are you and your thugs watching my brother? You do understand that he can easily catch Volodenko. Now I know why you didn't kill me. No, you're wrong. You're too beautiful to kill. What's taking so long? Come on. That's enough. A little more. Yeah, that's good. My family lives in this house. Mikhailo Volodenko is my uncle. I see. So, is this the gang's nest? Or do you call it a Shut den? Shut up. You know, a lot of people live in this house, and I often wonder why I even brought you here. So please, try not to disappoint them. It's for your own safety. Sure. I'll be happy if you make my task easier. What task? To save your life. Get out. We have to go. We're meeting Krestovisky in 30 minutes. Yes, I'm coming. Don't be shy. Hello. I said do something else. I'll explain later. Hello, Anastasia. Oh, wow. Is this Anastasia Sredetsky? Well, hello. Why didn't you tell us we're having guests? It's her first visit here. That's enough. Is my room still okay? Let me ask. Nastya will live here for a while. Darina, could you check the room, please? Well, what a nice surprise. The star of the surgery world is visiting our home. I'm happy to meet you. Hello, Nastya. Why didn't you tell me? Can someone explain what in the world is going on here? I'm afraid we need to postpone the meeting. I want to talk to you in my office right now. Well... The room's ready. I'll bring some more towels. Go. Mm-hmm. The door. Can you explain what I'm doing here? Uh-huh. How long am I staying here? I need to call my brother immediately. Or do you want the policeman to storm in here? Tell me what to say. I'll text him. Okay, type this. 
Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just visiting Aunt Raya. But your aunt died two weeks ago. I saw a message in your phone. Do you think I'm stupid or what? I'll call your brother myself. Don't you worry about that. Just have some rest for now. Damn. 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 Misha, what's going on with you? Why did Maxim suddenly bring your doctor to this house? And why were you upset? I distinctly saw your expression change when the two of them entered. Uh, oh, my darling. I can't tell you yet because it's a very unpleasant story and uh, you don't need to know the details. No, Misha, I must know. You must tell me these things. You know I want to help you. There's that wall again. I don't understand why you're so cold to me. Haven't I already proven to you many times that you can totally trust me? And I appreciate that. Well, I guess it's not enough because you are not being sincere with me. Please try to understand that I really do want to help you with everything. I'm not a problem. I'm a solution. Believe me, I understand that. <laughs> hey, okay, don't be angry with me. Stop that. Come here, darling. Hush now. Mm. Misha. Yes, yes, come here. Um, may I? Max locked Nastya in his room. Please explain what's going on. Is this business or pleasure? Hold on. If you know what's happening in this house, you better tell me now. But of course, Olena Romanivna, I know. Maybe you'll find out about it later on. Such arrogance. All Misha's exes were like that. They all thought they could seize our fortune by wedlock. Ah. Don't even dream about it. He'll use you and forget you, like all the rest. Do you understand? I do. Repeat it. This means that I have to make sure that she does not leave the room. Um, I also have to call if something happens to her. What can and should be done at her requests? I must give her water, food if she asks, and, and? if necessary, a uh, sedative to calm her down so nothing bad happens. Never. But under no circumstances Never. should I let her out. This is her phone. Mm -hmm. This one's mine. Mm. Install a location tracker on her phone and synchronize all her contacts and calls with my phone. Mm -hmm. Well, any news about the laptop? No. No, not yet. Too bad. Too bad! Mm -hmm. So, listen. Do a check on all my rivals. Hmm? Find out who would benefit from stealing it. And pay special attention to Lambda Farm, Kreuzer.net, and Optimus Meds. They're our key competitors, so be very thorough with them. You got that? I got it. It will be done. Anything else? Let's go outside. Come on. That phone is very important. Yeah, I know. May I offer you a drink? Whiskey with ice. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Fuck. 
Why didn't you kill her? I ordered you to do it. Uncle, calm down. Calm down? You don't see the whole picture. Do you know her brother is a cop? No, I didn't. Hmm. His name's Yuri, Vassil's his new boss. And I'm more than sure that he knows Nastya disappeared right after she went with the ambulance. Lydia Belova, who initially had to operate on Anton, must have been the one who told him it was you who asked her to go. Maybe. So what? Nothing. Even if the police don't find the body of Streletsky, they can just simply connect all these facts and just as easily sit on your tail. Do you need it? Especially now, when you're getting a government order. Seems to me, a living Streletsky's more profitable. It sure looks like that's what he's doing. Okay, let me check. Are you planting shit? What shit? You, fucking dealer. Who are you calling a dealer? You can say that to the police. Now calm down. Bring me to the boss or your manager, okay? Who's in charge here? Come on, please. But Max! Now you know that we simply can't afford to have a witness like her alive. She could have suddenly just vanished, like all the rest, and that would have ended it. The chief investigator is our man inside. I can easily control Vasil. Really? Damn right! But don't change the topic. Please don't. You have no idea who this Streletsky is. That's why I'm planning to control her 24-7. Really? Oh, wow, so you're holding a hostage in my house. That's smart thinking. Not a hostage, but a wife. Did I just hear you right? The tender's yours in two weeks. After that, we'll see what we'll do with her. Meanwhile, tell the family to prepare for a wedding. You done? One moment. <laughs> All done. Here you go. Hey, prepare everything necessary for the ceremony. Wedding is in the evening. Take both Nastya's and my passport. Pay for the urgent registration, whatever they tell you. You getting married? Max? Please accept my humble congratulations. Not now, okay? Mm. Print the application. Mm. What is this? Son, are you serious? Are you really marrying Anastasia Strzelecki? Yes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, why so sudden? Have you two been dating long? I didn't even know that you were. What's her family like? And why didn't you introduce her before? And why today when nothing is ready, Max? I don't care. Nobody asked your opinion. Delete the videos from the clinic cameras. Which videos? Until yesterday. Mm -hmm. Hello, may I help you? Hello there. Major Streletsky. What's this about? Who keeps the records of all the ambulance calls? That would be me. And which car did Dr. Streletsky ride in yesterday? They said it was a car crash. Wait one minute, let me check. Mm -hmm. There are no records. Streletsky didn't report her absence, and there's no record of her calling the ambulance. I'm very sure that Lydia Belova was the last one in contact with her. Lydia Belova told me she had to go there. Must be a mistake. It wasn't our car. No one called us to a car crash site. I'm sure. I've checked the database. Okay, I also need access to the recordings from your CCTV camera. I can't. I'm not allowed. It's done through the security. Call them. Here's the order. Alexander, could you come to the lobby, please? Mm. 
May I come in? Ah, so I can buy to meet you. My late mother, the sister of my aunt, is Regina Lvivna. Uh, Misha and Vika are uh, two of my beloved cousins, so my relation to Maxim is... I am is... not interested in your family relations. I'm simply explaining to you my relations to them because you are about to be part of our family and tonight is special. Uh, can you uh, just sign here, please? What tonight? Tonight? Tell Max to come here, quick! He's gone. Tell him to come back. If he doesn't return now, I'll be screaming until I see him! Let me out of here! Ah! Ah! Uh, let me out of here now! Ah! She's crazy, all right. Well, I'd marry her, no problem. Hmm. <laughs> Hello? We have a slight problem here. She's very mad about the wedding. She's screaming and demands that you come back. Misha, I am the hostess of this house, but I learn about the wedding from servants. Can you explain to me, Misha? Well, I... What kind of wedding is this? Why has nobody told me? You all know Anastasia Strelecki well. Yes. She is a great doctor and the best neurosurgeon of my clinic. The best. A valuable worker. We're in good relations, and she is indeed an asset to the company. Mm-hmm. But... She recently found out about certain violations at the clinic and decided to tell the police about them. Is she blackmailing you or what? No, Mother, no way. It's just that if she tells the cops, I may not only lose my position, but my entire business. My goodness, son. Yes, they can do this. Oh, my goodness. No, no, Mom, please calm down. Such scandals are a usual thing in this kind of business. So, there. I understand. So what shall we do? Whatever you do, just ignore her accusations. Uh, can you find another way out of this sensitive situation? Your Max does stupid things and always draws us into a dangerous game! What are you talking about? Don't you understand? My Max is sacrificing for Misha and this is not the first time! Come on, Misha, it's time to go. We might yes. be late. That's right, that's right. By the way, I missed everything. Now please. I beg you, try to be nice to her. Let's try to make her feel at home here. Okay. Okay? All right. I'll be going. You always blame my children for everything that happens. You ungrateful lot. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? What did I tell you? You promised. Why are you being so stubborn? You didn't tell me the wedding's tonight. I need some time to think about this. Sit down. We have no time for this. Or you wanted a romantic wedding, did you? The white dress, rings, bridesmaids, and so on? My answer is no. Or are you still thinking of your Xenia? Hmm? Nastya, dear, you are going to die for him? We agreed about this, so please stop being difficult. You don't need this wedding, and neither do I. We're going to have an ordinary mock wedding. Believe me, I'm not interested in you more than you are in me. Now then, don't make me come here again for your bullshit. I have to go. If she wants to scream, let her scream. 
She'll get tired of getting our attention sooner or later. Pre-wedding hysteria is different for different people. Just remember, she must not leave the room, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Any update on the cameras? They're fine. I'm working on it. Nastya. Yuri. I'm here at the seaside with my old friend. Everything's fine. There, you see? She's at the seaside. It's fine. Hey, listen, you mind your own business. Nastya, what's seaside? What old friend? I know you will, so where's your security, Chief? How much longer do I have to wait? What's happening? Calm down. Please don't shout. He's on his way. You need to work faster. What is happening? Any problems here? Well, everything's under control, sir. You're going to have problems if you don't give me full access to the video from your security cameras, Major Strzelecki. Please, follow me. There was no need to shout. What you're saying is ridiculous. You suspect this man is in the business of drug dealing? Yes, but... I can assure you he's not what you say. But he was looking for something there. I remember you. You were the ones looking for your friend's laptop but didn't find it. You see, I... I visited him in the hospital this morning. And he remembered that he left it there. He thought that he would hide it in the seats. Then he forgot about it. He got drunk. And then... On his way home... He got hit by a car. That's terrible. Can you imagine? But that laptop is important information we need. I see that. Okay. I'll pay you whatever you want. Just help me find it. Come on. What money? This is a reputable club. We don't let anything get stolen here. Believe me, had the waitresses found something, they'd have told me about it. Okay. Who cleaned? Uh, the dance floor the last two days. Aunt Olya. She's still here? Yes, yeah, she's cleaning. We'll go now, find her. Got it, boss. Quickly now. One moment, please. How was class today? It was fine. I'm sick of the teacher. God, I'm hungry. Don't touch the pie. We'll soon have lunch. Well, may I have a yogurt? The yogurt you may. But don't drink from the bottle. Take a glass instead. Have you heard the latest news? Max is getting married. Tonight. Hmm? What do you mean? How is that possible? His fiancée's here. She's in his room right now, taking a rest. So baby, finish the yogurt so we can go and meet her. Well, well, well. That's hmm? nice. So I always should tell him where I go, with whom and why I go, but he doesn't even have time to introduce me to his fiancée? That's right. It means he had his reasons for doing that. You hear me? I guess, but the question is, what are they? I don't know, I don't want to know, but whatever it is, I hope the marriage will be good to him. Men are... 
easier to deal with once they're married. <laughs> but don't forget, we're talking about Max. <laughs> Come on, time to meet this girl. Have I ever done anything like that? And your friend? He was drunk. What if he had just made a mistake? Maybe he had no computer with him. Or maybe he was in a different club. It's okay, everybody back to work. Go, come on, come on, come on. There, are you satisfied? We did everything we could. Please, we tried to help you. Maybe it was taken by one of the visitors. But if he doesn't remember where he left it, then we can't help you anymore. But nobody stole anything here, no. Yeah, I believe you. Maybe it was a mistake. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. We want to meet Nastya. Open the door, please. Maxim didn't say I could let you in. Did Maxim order you not to let us in? No, he didn't. So allow us to speak to our future relative. I'm busy, and you're now interrupting me with my work. That's okay. We'll just meet her later. Here's your coffee. Merci. <sighs> you may go, Dasha. We'll do it ourselves. Stop the show and give me the key. Ah, Nastya. Here, you must be looking for towels. I want to introduce to you, Halia, my daughter and the sister of Maxim. I am his mother. I'm your future mother-in-law. Olena Romanivna. Um, well, I won't say that this is not unexpected, but I do hope that we can be very good friends at least. So allow us to welcome you to our family. Why are you <laughs> pretending this is okay? Why have you locked me up in here? Where was I taken from and why? Why did your son suddenly decide he wants to marry me anyway? Doesn't that worry you? My dear, please forgive me, but I don't interfere in my son's private life. He's an adult and I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He always surprises us with his decisions. But you look like an interesting lady. I have no doubt you'll be a very nice couple. I'm very sure of that. You're all insane here! Do not offend us, please. I wouldn't recommend making enemies of your friends. Mikita, open the door. I guess our bride is still a little nervous. She needs some rest. Let's go. Please help me. I beg you. And you should run away too. You'll be a mother soon. Do you really want your baby to grow up in a house full of criminals? What, mother? What do you mean? You're pregnant. I can see it. No, you're wrong. Let me go! Here are all the videos from yesterday. Which video would you like to see? Show me the footage of the entrance for the ambulance crew. Hmm. What time would you like to see? From 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Around 2 p.m., huh? What the... What? One moment. What's going on? We've never had this before. I don't know what the hell is going on. How is this on. possible? All the files from yesterday were deleted. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Let's be quick, please. My break's over in 30 minutes. Close the trunk, son. Well done. Dad, can we play football? I can't, son. Don't you see these bags? Then can I go play football? Okay, but not too long. All he thinks about is football. It's not football he thinks about. He wants to play with you. 
He rarely sees you, so he wants to take the chance. Okay, I'll join him in a minute. Wow, is this new? Yeah. You wanna play? Okay. So, how do you like her? She's a weird girl. <laughs> yes. But... That's perfectly okay. But that's perfectly okay. We'll just teach her a lesson in manners. Do you think she'll like it? It's beautiful. I think it'll match her white dress. Hmm? Mom, do you really want Max to marry this girl? <sighs> Can't you see that she's sick? I think that we should try to convince Max to cancel the wedding altogether. I mean, did you hear what she was saying? You know what? You're overreacting. They're just nervous. It's fine, a lover's quarrel. What do you mean, lover's quarrel? She hates his guts. Besides, can't you see she hates us too? And tell me, what do you know about true love? <laughs> it's just like in those movies. The louder the fight, the sweeter the reconciliation. Yes, listen. You're just too young to understand about marriage. It'll be fine. We must make friends with her if she's going to be part of our family. We must be diplomatic and kind to her. And things will work out. <laughs> Give it to me. Take a walk. What's your name? Danya. You know it's dangerous to play here? Lots of cars around. Is there a football field around here? There's one nearby. Can you show it to me? Danya. Didn't I tell you many times don't ever talk to strangers? Never talk to them, didn't I? Yes. Then why are you talking to a man you don't know? I'm not talking, I'm... Get inside, now. You. What are you doing here? Are you watching me? I missed you. Oh, really? Congratulations on your promotion. It's a bit strange though, yes. Your new job is with me and my uncle. Have you come to threaten me? Did Volodenko send you here? Do you think I owe you the grave if I lived in this house and ate his food? I will never be your man. I am a detective and you are criminals. And my duty is to stop people like you. You're right. You know, you're right in everything. And if you put me in prison, it means that this is the fate. But it won't be easy. You have your duty and I have mine. I swear I'll get to you soon enough. Mm. So you can start praying that Uncle Misha is not involved in Strzelecki's disappearance. I'm going to take a shower. So what's wrong? The lock is not working here, so please don't break into the bathroom. I hear you. Skip my Czech history class today. After all, it's not every day that my brother gets married. Yes, it's true. But you still have to go to your classes. How many times should I repeat? You can't study in Prague if you don't know the language. There's still time before the wedding, mm -hmm. right? What was that? Nothing. It's just that the neighbor's stupid cat. Darina, check yes? it please. Maybe the bride suddenly decided to flee. <laughs> right away. 
Mom, you really think she jumped out of the window like in the movies? I'm telling you, it's the cat, Mom. What is it? I see no cat. There's no one here. All right. Put the bun back. Okay, go. But please, be more attentive to your classes. You shouldn't be like that with Danya. He got upset. I know that. But what am I supposed to do? I'm trying my best to be nice to the boy. Be patient. That's fine, but he was talking to a stranger. I saw this man from the window. He's dangerous, don't you get it? Isn't he your brother? How many times should I say it? I have no brother, no brother, no sister, no mother. I had a father, but he was killed. You and Danya are my family. I have no other family. Is that why you shout at us all the time? Max, don't go with Uncle Misha. But I just told you, I really need to go. Why? We were always together. Please don't leave me alone. Please don't leave us. It's only for a little while, and we'll always be together, even if I'm not around. Do you believe me? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I just feel so frustrated when I see these people running free. Vasil. Don't these people deserve at least a little of your love? Your uncle and your brother. What love do you mean? Tanya, my sworn duty is to catch these criminals who violate the law. The law? Okay, lunch is ready. 